Greetings YouTube, this is the Garage Autonomist. If everything goes okay next Thursday night on Everyday Revolution, my special guests should be members of the Black Women's Defense League. Below is the link to their Facebook page. The Black Women's Defense League was formed as a coalition of women of color from all walks of life to learn self-defense and also to learn battered women's rescue, martial arts, social political literacy, hand-to-hand -hand combat techniques, knife fighting, marksmanship, and weapons of opportunity. Black Women's Defense League also engages in emergency and preparedness and urban survival training. In the midst of Trump's win for the presidency, the Women's March back in January was a strong reminder that all of the gains that were won in the late 60s and early 70s, such as women's reproductive rights, access to affordable, safe abortion and health care, and strengthening equal employment opportunities, might see a dramatic reversal of these gains. And we need to understand that these gains already suffered a steady chipping away over the past 30 years, regardless of whose political party occupied the Oval Office. We know that the people who are in the most danger of losing these rights are young women, working class women in general, and poor women of color. African American women, in addition to external sexism and racism and the feminization of poverty, also have to contend with internalized racism, and they make up the extremely high numbers of survivors of domestic violence. And in the CDC, the National Intimate Partner and Sexual Violence Survey Report of 2010 reported that one in five black women, 22%, and white, 18.8%, non-Hispanic women, and one in seven Hispanic women, 14.6%, in the U.S. have experienced rape at some point in their lives. So with realities like this facing black women, one can see why there is a need for a black women's defense league. On next Thursday, I will ask them about their organizational efforts, reception of black women in general, get a clearer picture of the scope of their work, and I'll ask many other questions. A video will be posted to make the actual announcement of the show. This will mean that we have a commitment from the guests and they will be on next Thursday. I have so many questions that I want to ask and a lot I want to know more about this organization outside of what's already floating around out there. They were interviewed by Vice a while ago. The link is in the low bar. Phoenix Chastain, a longtime supporter, has asked me some very hard questions earlier in the year from a video that Phoenix had done. The question was how do you sell revolution to people? And if you have a revolution, then what? By total coincidence, a few other questions were sent to me by email or private message when people were asking me where the hell I was. I was slammed by life. So by the end of January to last week, I just got around to answering Phoenix's and other viewers' questions. So stay tuned for that. This is the Garage Autonomist.